I'll take whatever you've got. Which could likely be nothing, so don't get your hopes up. Well, any slacks? A, a clean shirt? Where's my shirt? How clean does your shirt need to be for a job interview? Clean. Here, try this. Paul left it. It's nice. It's way too small and fancy. That's funny, because that is exactly how I would describe Paul. You can't go to this job interview. I haven't worn a shirt in three days. All the more reason for you to wear a shirt. And to shower, for that matter. I've been quite productive while I've been here. Don't you have clean clothes at home? It's not the point. How is that not the point? Go home, take a shower, apologize to your girlfriend, put on clean clothes, and then you're gonna do great at the interview. I'm not going home until Julia apologizes to me. For all she knows, I'm in a ditch somewhere. And I'm, and I'm sick and I'm bleeding and I'm waiting for her to call and check on me because I've got so mangled fingers that I can't even call 911. <coughs> she knows you're here, she texted me. You ratted me out? What are you, five? You have been here for three days. Your hair looks disgusting. And if not having more than one clean pair of underwear wasn't enough to make you go home, then the job interview should be. I have solved this underwear problem. What the? I could unsee, I would. April, you're doing the right thing here. Sharing this space with me. It's allowing me to reflect and, and, and to grow. You have turned my couch into a gross fart and sweat fort. Do you know what a slipper is? What? A slipper. Yeah, I know what a slipper is. It's a soft shoe that you wear around the house. Oh, April, it's so much more than that. It's a Swedish term for when a person allows another person to walk all over them just for their pleasure. I'm not a slipper. Okay. Well, if I let you stay here anymore, then I'm the slipper. Well, I don't want that. I know you don't. And you don't want to lose Julia. Hey, where are you going? You're going home? I don't know. Just apologize to Julia.
that's no surprise. You know, if I hugged you, it would be alright. 